Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And welcome back, everybody. We did it today. Yes, we managed to get above average. It's been a long time. But we got to 65 degrees here in Bismarck, 8 full degrees above our average, which is 57 degrees. Our low was 30 degrees this morning, so we're slightly below freezing and just about uh, right there uh, where it should be for this time of year. Beautiful shot off towards Dickinson right now. Sun slowly fading into the sky or the uh, horizon there. 63 degrees, still very mild, very nice. There's a wind. It's of the south southeast currently at 17 miles per hour. Temperatures cooler across our northeastern counties. Harvey checking in at 45. 59 in Bismarck is 56 in Minot. You go off towards the west. That's where we're looking at warmer temperatures. Williston at 63. You got near 70 earlier today. 63 in Dickinson as well. Look at Wolf Point out there in northeast Montana checking in at 72 degrees at this hour. So yeah, it's been a lovely day. Winds are out of the southeast. They've been kicking up here and there, uh, sustained from anywhere between about 10 and 20 miles per hour. So they are helping to warm things up a little bit out there. And satellite radar, no precipitation to speak of. You do notice the clouds inbound, however, from the west. Uh, things getting a little more active off that way. So. Let's roll precision cast. There is a cold front that is kind of knocking on our door right now. Currently in eastern Montana and southern Saskatchewan, it will push through overnight tonight. And behind it, we will start to see the clouds increase. So you can expect some clouds out there tomorrow morning. None of the question we could see a few light sprinkles across some of our southwestern counties also by dawn tomorrow. Now, a better chance maybe later in the morning as we see uh, the cold front push off towards the east. Maybe again, a few light rain showers. Not going to be any Anything significant, just uh, just a, a light watering of the lawn, so to speak. But behind that, we'll end up with some clearing and more sunshine, and that'll be the way we start the weekend. In fact, Saturday morning, you're looking at quite a lot of sunshine out there across the entire state. So that'll be pretty nice. But it'll be a tale of two uh, weather patterns here going into the weekend because. By Saturday afternoon, we'll look to our southwest, and there will be a developing system out there. The track of it will take it just to the south of the state, but we could still see some showers and uh, some steadier rain, and it does look to be all rain moving through uh, at least central and south central ports, parts of the state. Uh, and the winds, that'll be another factor here. Notice they're out of the southeast right now from about 10 to 20 miles per hour. As that cold front sweeps through, they will uh, shift out of the west. You can see that there by early tomorrow morning. They'll continue to be breezy through much of the day tomorrow behind the cold front, eventually kind of lighten up by tomorrow night. So your uh, three-day forecast, excuse me, for Dickinson, temperatures will be cooler behind the front, but yeah, Saturday we'll get some sunshine remaining breezy, but you can see on Sunday that system will roll in and give us some light rain in Dickinson. Uh, better chances to stay dry through the weekend up towards the northwest, including uh, Williston, but we will see those cooler temperatures. Lows tonight, temperatures getting down into the 40s, pretty mild in fact and your highs tomorrow temperatures getting up into the mid 50s to low 60s kind of spread across the board there with the colder air inbound there's your seven-day forecast for Minot you're looking at temperatures in the mid 50s to end the week and in towards the weekend uh, it will be a little windy early next week. Bismarck, we will be tracking that system because here in Bismarck, we have a good chance of seeing some rain on Sunday. Outdoor plans, Saturday, definitely the better of the two days. And then it does look windy with possibly another system moving in by the middle of next week. Miles still trying to figure that one out. I'm getting active again. Yep. Thank you so much. Coming up next. In